welcome back to the bean bag today i thought we might completely switch gears and look at some cowboys from the star trek next generation episode a fistful of datas directed by patrick stewart this is lieutenant Worf as the sheriff uh this was a great episode and to go along with it they have made they actually did make as part of their holodeck series some really fantastic figures uh, this is a great sculpt of wharf and i love the badge the hat the costume design on that episode on this episode was really good as well and it resulted in when they made these figures some really great figures uh, with wharf came this little minifigure of Alexander as his deputy. Uh, this doesn't have any movement. It's a solid piece of rubber figure. A handful of people have actually like cut the heads off of these and sculpted the top of them and used it for customs, which is absolutely something that can be done. It is difficult to do. And because of the fact that sometimes these are hard to get a hold of, it's also kind of risky to do sometimes. Now, along with them was the Durango, was what Troy called herself. Uh, again, this is a great sculpt. Uh, a lot of people don't know this. The hat is actually removable, but because some of these are so old... It's kind of stuck on. I'm not going to try and pull that off of this one. I can, I've done it on a few others. <clears throat> uh, the gun, on the other hand, is not. But I love the detail on this is actually really good. Uh, I've, I've used many parts of this for sculpting other figures as well. It's just, in general, a really great figure. Really great likeness. And I love the fact that we get a different kind of hairstyle for Counselor Troy in this episode as well. And the last official one that they made is Data uh, as the bad guy whose name I'm going blank on right this minute. Um, this only came as part of a three-pack with the Wharf and Alexander uh, which was more of a two-and-a-half pack. What is interesting about this one again it comes with a little gun sculpted on the hip there but they didn't the articulation on this one is kind of odd they did make the hat removable which is again it's something i always like and that way you can really see that pencil mustache on brent spiner's face there but no elbows no knees but they did put thigh swivel on the legs and they can well, and this one can't because of the gun. It can't even move up. So he can do a sort of an awkward kick. Um. <laughs> now I just kind of want to get this as the thumbnail for the picture for the video of Cowboy Data kicking Cowboy Wharf. Um... But yeah, overall, it's a still a really good figure. It's just, I, I was never very clear on why they did the sculpting the way that they did. Um, now, as far as customs that I made, I made the Bandito data, and I did make a, a sombrero hat for him. Uh, and I sculpted that mustache on him. Uh, this actually, what's kind of funny about this is that the pants are actually just straight up off of the wharf figure you can see side by side there that those are the same uh, and the torso actually came off of a sequest figure uh, those are some really great figures to use now i figured while we were looking at holodeck figures we would also discuss three custom holodeck figures that i have made first is Data as Sherlock Holmes. Did I put that hat on backwards? 
There we go. This is one that I made a little while back. Uh, he doesn't have the jacket on. This is just him wearing the gray suit like he does in the episode. Then I made Jordy. And I did make a little bowler hat for him. Which it doesn't want to stay on. There it goes. Uh, as Dr. Watson. And finally I made Dr. Pulaski. As I don't think that her character had a name. If I, I can't recall. Uh, I do plan on eventually making a uh, Moriarty. To go along with them. But these are the three that I have made. For the Sherlock Holmes. Uh, so as far as the holodeck figures that I've got right now, that's going to be it for today. And I look forward to seeing you next time. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Also, you can support the show by signing up on Patreon. Or head over to Zazzle to pick up prints of my artwork, prints on canvas, t-shirts, and other merch. You can find me on social media. For more information and updates on the channel, all info is below. If you didn't enjoy the video, why are you still here? Do you want a song? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, them, yes, them, three bags full. One for the master who can screw himself. You can listen to somebody else.